wheel. New transmitter just arrived. Uh, I love how this updates. It's nothing like the uh, Hubson products. So I got the new transmitter here, and I got this. And all it does is connect to my phone, then automatically starts transferring information to the transmitter. The transmitter automatically starts to update the solo, and then it's done. So we will see how this functions afterwards. Uh, it gave me the pre-flight pairing uh, and ready to update insignia as soon as I turned on the transmitter. So I think we're going to be good to go. Um, this shouldn't have too much longer. Right now it's, it's just said that it communicated with the transmitter. So the transmitter just finished updating and now it's transmitting from the transmitter the information on the 8 gigabyte SD card to the solo. So apparently now it's updating the solo here. We've got red and blue lights on, red and white. Nope, they're blue right now. I did download the Solex app, so we can start playing with that. But, you know, without these two being able to communicate, we were having problems. But, man, this transmitter looks very clean. This one looks pretty rough compared. This one has scratches all over it. Uh, loose antenna. So this one came pretty beat up, man. You know, it's unfortunate. It didn't work great. But, uh, like I said, you can buy a new transmitter for $40. $40 so should be good to go here. I'll uh, see you guys in a sec. I'll let you know what happens. Alright, it's doing all sorts of talking right now. It's going through all different light schemes and now it says controller updated reconnect app. When you see the green check. Okay. Solo link. Connect. Obtaining. And okay. Press A to continue. Waiting for solo. Okay, I think we're in. I think we're in business here, guys. Let's go ahead and push the uh, back button. Now it's communicating again with the solo. This is so much easier than like. Oh my gosh! Stupid. Right on. Cool. <laughs> it's giving me all these notifications. This is so much easier than plugging it into computers and all that stuff. And it just lays everything out for you. It's so simple. Um, and it offers you a new firmware update whenever one comes out. So looks like we're almost done here. Good news. I think we're going to be good to go. Well, I think we're good to go. If I can focus on that, it says the solo is now 2.4.2, and the transmitter is now 2.4.2, and they connected. So obviously, the next smart thing to do. I also have six satellites. The next smart thing to do would be to turn it all off, turn it back on, and see how well it does when it powers up. If they instantly start to communicate, then we know we fixed our problem. So we'll wait till everything shuts down. We'll go ahead and turn this off. I shouldn't need my phone for this portion of it. And uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and cycle through everything here again. Let's go ahead and swaggle through. Good. And the red LEDs turned off on the back. That's always a good sign. They were staying on on the other remote. Let's go ahead and crank this up first. Beautiful. And we'll start the power up cycle. Okay. Ah, that sounds so healthy. That sounds healthy. Waiting for solo. All right. It's going through its little thing here, getting prepared. And they connected. Look at that searching for GPS. So, we obviously had a transmitter problem. Something was wrong with this one. Well, the update is done and they are communicating again, which is always a good thing. Um, however, we now need to figure out what happened to this remote. I did order the new Wi-Fi card. I have a feeling that was the problem, but then again, it could be something internally wrong with the board. Uh, because it wasn't powering off all the way. It just kept staying on no matter what I would do I would have to remove the battery and put it back in to reset the remote So there's there was something pretty seriously wrong with this I'm not sure if it got baked in the Sun on the way to the beach or what exactly took place, but the new remote is working fine Everything seems to be gravy. So we'll go ahead and take this on a flight uh, tomorrow if I can if not we'll wait till Monday, but uh, Looks like we are up and running again. That remote came super fast. Super, super fast. So, cool, man. Solo wasn't down very long. All right. What's going on, guys? So, as you can see, I am on the Android market currently, and I have looked up the app Solex. Uh, for those of you that have a Solo, man, this app is awesome. 
Unfortunately, I do not have my solo with me right now to show you all of the functionality, but we're going to go ahead and open this up and show you. It does cost $29.99. It is worth every single penny of that. Do not second guess yourself. It is worth every penny. We're going to go ahead and open this up. Hmm. I'll let you guys have a look. Like I said, fortunately, it's not connected to my solo. Uh, whoever designed this app did a very, very, very good job. Um, they thought of all the extra features. Now, as you know, you can use the Tower app separately to make it autonomous, but he gives you that feature in here if you would like to spend another $19.99. So altogether, for $50, bucks, you can have the entire package, or... You can spend 29 on this and download the Tower app, which I suggest doing. Um, I'm probably not going to buy the autonomous features inside of this app. But as you can see, it has a little bit of everything. And he is very, very forthcoming with you. Experimental app for APM drones. Adruno! Adruno! I love it, man. I had a 2.0 on my, um, let's see, Cheerson CX-20 ran on that. So I loved it. But... This has all sorts of freaking features. No joke, there are tons and tons and tons of stuff you can set up for each person that flies. It's just, it's the, the abilities of this are 10 times better. And, and look at, look, check this out. You even have OSD on screen display. Look at that. If the camera was hooked up right now, it would look beautiful. It also tells you your antenna signal in DBI which is really nice telling you when you're getting low. Um, I will love to check the alpha antennas when I get a chance here, but I'm um, just kind of showing you guys a little bit of uh, how this works, how much you can actually adjust. We're gonna go to controls. I can adjust the lights, party mode, breathe white, yellow, <laughs> backwards aviation, yellow rears, reset. Like. This, the, the, the features this has is crazy how much stuff is actually on here, man. Um, and I have not really had a chance to mess with any of this stuff. But I can tell you right now, you have a ton of speed settings, altitude, distance. And I found out that my drone, right, my uh, solo pegged at 360, and, I'm sorry, 3,265 feet, which is what the standard solo app would allow me to go to. It stopped exactly at that. With this app, you can turn that off. I didn't realize that that was what it was set for, for the furthest distance you could go with the standard solo app. This one is not like that. This one, you can adjust it to however you freaking want to. So, um, got to give it up to open source, man. Big fan of open source. Love me some open source. I have not had a chance to go through any of this stuff. There are so many settings. The regular solo app is so plain. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and pop that up for you too, so you can see the regular solo app um, and the differences. So you had Solex and now you had Solo. So this is the standard solo app. Looks pretty nice, but let's go to Fly Zone, Fly Solo, and just show you how basic it is. There you go. That's that's the basicness of it. Gives you all your little orbit pano, zip line, selfie, cable cam. And you get all of the same stuff on the Solex app here. Let me go back. Show you how this works here. We'll go to home. Actually, let's go to camera features because I think there you go. Orbit, selfie, follow optical, follow record, follow remote, follow me, zip line, pano, cable, HDR photo. Like whoever designed this did an excellent job with it. There is no doubts about it. This is awesome pure and utter awesomeness so look at this stable acro fly manual auto guide fly return home circle land drift sport flip auto tune position hold break it's just crazy this is crazy anyways guys just wanted to give you a short little look at the solex app um I'll let you have a look at it for yourself and uh versus the solo app it's which is pretty solo wi-fi Pretty plain, not much going on here. Uh, you can go into your settings and make some adjustments to the vehicle if it was connected. It's not, uh, but as you can see, it's pretty pretty darn plain. Pretty darn plain, so. Anyways, guys, that's it, man. Drone worship, I'm out for the day. Toodaroo.